let's rock and roll. We have 2,697 kilometers to get home. Let's see, 2,697 kilometers divided by 1.61, 1, that is 1,675 miles. We're gonna be home on Friday because today is Wednesday. We'll be home for a few days then. So, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to rock. Diesel, you ready? We're loaded up. Let's do another little tug test. I don't need to do this tug test, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Peace of mind, peace of mind, the trailer will not fall off. Okay. Off we go. Do not enter. Okay. I'm trying to go out the entrance, aren't I? Okay, wait. Emergency exit only. Okay, so is there another exit? There's probably another exit, isn't there? Okay, watch out, people. Coming back. Okay, apparently they want us to go out this side. Makes sense. Then we don't have a big kerfluffle of people trying to get in and out. Blocking the driveway and stuff. <laughs> This is gonna open for me, right? Which side opens? That side opens. I am so confused. No, wait. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing here. Why would I go out on the left? No, this side's got to open. Right? Let's drive up to it and see what happens. Hello? Can I leave? Something's beeping. Ah, ha, ha, there we go. Oh, I'm just a moron, that's all. Why don't they have like a sign here that says exit? That would solve all these problems, all right? <laughs> uh, I could just dust off the cobwebs of my common sense, but that would be no fun. I don't want to stick out. Common sense, what's that? Nobody uses that anymore. All right, Diesel, hang on, bud. You wanna go home? I do. I don't know about you, man. I wanna go home. Three days, we'll be at home. <clears throat> Should I honk the horn and celebrate? Hey, Diesel, you want me to honk the horn? Should I honk the horn? <laughs> yeah? Oh, there it is, there it is. Look, Diesel, it's the Wafferhausen. Zavina's favorite store. It's a restaurant. I get it. Zavina's favorite restaurant. It's the Wafferhausen. I wish we had waffle houses in Canada. I love Waffle House. Who doesn't like a good waffle? Come on. You gotta be crazy not to like waffles. This trip home from Alabama, like I was saying, it's gonna take three days. In the US, I can only drive 11 hours per day. So I'll get as far as I can today. I can usually get about a thousand kilometers or 600 miles done per day. So I should be able to get, well, it'll probably be three kind of full days because there's gonna be 700 kilometers left or 500 miles or whatever, 450 miles the, the third day. So I'm leaving here at 10 a.m. Central Time. That's about 30 hours or so of driving. That's giving three hours leeway for traffic jams. Uh, other things, bathroom breaks, eating and stuff. So 30 hours, plus I'm gonna need two nights, which are 10 hours each. 30, 40, 50 hours I should be home. Just over 48 hours if everything goes according to plan. That would be, what, says Wednesday? Friday. I'm gonna say Friday around one o'clock in the afternoon. Does that sound right? That seems kind of early. No, because I gotta drive all day today yet. All day tomorrow and all day. It'll be Friday afternoon, Friday evening. 
I'll do the math later. For now, let's just get down the road a little bit. It's a lot of math in trucking. Long haul trucking, anyways. Oh, you can see it just a little while ago. It's behind these trees off to the right. Behind the building, it's coming. You ready for it? The Batman building. That's where Batman lives. Or so I'm told. Nashville, Tennessee. In one kilometer, keep to the right on I-40 East. A lot of famous musicians in this city. A lot of good music coming out of here. This is definitely one of those cities that I would love to stop in and tour around for a while. So we're coming in here on uh, I-65. Oh, and we're hitting some traffic up here. We're about to merge onto I-40. And hopefully this won't be too bad here. Oh, in 200 meters, no. keep to the right on I-40 East. Never mind, looks like we're coming to a stop. What is the time now? Time is quarter to five. I guess it's rush hour right now, makes sense. What is that Batman building actually? Like, from here, what is it? It looks like, is that an AT&T AT &T symbol on there? Oh, and I'm in the wrong lane. Really, now you're gonna tell me that this lane ends? And you're gonna slam on your brakes? Okay, well, I gotta get out of this lane too. Why, why wouldn't they, did they give me a warning? Did I just miss it? Maybe I just missed it. Oh, this will be fun. I thought that this lane merged onto I-40. I didn't know that it, uh, you know, just teased you and then actually shot you out onto, what is that, 31 or 41 South. Oh boy. Excuse me. Oh, there's a kind soul in this city. Thank you so much, bud. Thank you so much. I'll give you the little flash ruse. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now I need to get one more lane over. Oh, oh, and an opening. Look at this. Wow, there we go. Oh, whoa, what happened to you, buddy? I don't know if I, I don't know if that should be on the road. He got smacked pretty good in the back there. Lost all my momentum because of this automatic transmission. And we're coming to a stop anyway. Okay, oh boy. Oh boy. Why are we stopping when no other lane is stopping? And we gotta deal with the automatic transmission again. All right, Nashville, love you too. Let's see if we can get through this city. How many of you are, oh, and we're stopping again. Okay, just got my momentum going again. In 500 meters, keep to the left on I-24 West I-65. I'm north. trying, Karen, I'm trying, but my lane keeps stopping for no reason. Any of you live in Nashville? Any of you musicians? Let me know down below. We're at another brand new Loves location in, let's see, where are we? Google, help. Help, Google, where are we? One second. Again, it's not even on Google Maps. That's how new this is. Like, Love's Travel Plaza has been expanding like crazy. We're in Oak Grove, Kentucky. Oh. Well, I didn't even know I was in Oak Grove because I didn't know there was a Love's in Oak Grove. There's a Flying J, a couple of them. Yeah, brand new Love's. Everything's brand spanking new. This place, I tell you, they are expanding like there's no tomorrow. Good for them. You know, I've actually uh, been really enjoying Love's Travel Plazas. They're exactly the same as Pilot Flying J for the most part. I'm pretty sure they're owned by the same people because they're almost identical. Just everything's, you know, it looks a little different, but it's the same products. Same coffee even, like they got that same bean to cup coffee. The only thing I don't like about Love's is their parking lots are usually a lot smaller, but. I've been spending a lot of time at Love's lately. 
been building a relationship. I like them quite a bit, and they're becoming more and more convenient. All they gotta do is expand across Canada. And they'll be right up there with Pilot Flying J with me. And it's a brand new truck stop, but of course, it's already packed at six o'clock. What do you think, say? It doesn't matter how many they build, they always fill up. It, it really is true, if you build it, they will come. See now, if I was spending the night here, I would take that spot right there in front of me. Before that guy did. Before that guy could, but he's going for this spot. He thinks I'm gonna go for it. He thinks I'm gonna go for it. He's gonna go for it. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. You can have it, I'm leaving. <laughs> uh, he thought I was gonna take the last spot right before him. Ah, uh, it's funny, he's getting all mad. Hey, that's my spot, that's my, don't take my spot. Hey, if I was staying the night, I would have taken it. I'm just saying, I'm ruthless. Hey, it's, you got it's, you got to take care of yourself out here, man. It's everybody for himself. You find a parking spot, you take that. You take that parking spot. Look at that, there's there's nothing else left. So maybe one over here. This one's got a bobtail in it, and that one's got a bobtail in it. Yeah, that was the last one. <laughs> that would have been interesting. All right, that guy's lucky. I'm going another two hours down the road. You know, the only real sad thing about these huge corporations like Loves and Pilot Flying J and TA Petro is these smaller truck stops, like the one in front of me here where this guy is going to, good guy giving them his business. Uh, these small ones, they don't survive long. Now that this Loves is built across the street, I'm sure this truck stop will have its doors closed in a year or two. They just can't survive. I mean. And I'm part of the problem too because I go to the big chains as well. But it's just that the big chains have made it so convenient. It's so convenient to, to go to the chain because then you get the points and then you can use the points for free laundry, you get free showers. Take the entrance to the ride on by 24 West. I do like the big chains better, but it's just, it's too bad that the small businesses suffer and go bankrupt because of them. What can you do, right? What can you do? That's just that's just how the how the cookie crumbles. I don't know what to say. So we're gonna get back onto the interstate here, Interstate 24, uh, westbound. Like I said, another two hours. That'll bring us to 8 o'clock. Hopefully we'll find some parking at that time. And then we can get home in Continue two days. On this road for 198 kilometers. 198, that's about when I'm going to run out of hours. Right at the intersection with Interstate 57. Oh good, well when two, interste when two interstates intersect, there's usually a bunch of truck stops there. So that's probably where I'll go for, go for the night. You know the best way to make sure you're, you'll have parking at the end of your day? It's to shut down early and start early. So we're shutting down here in Paducah at Southern Pride Travel Plaza. I could go another hour yet, but I can make it home in two days from here and I want to make sure I get parking tonight and tomorrow. So we're starting early tomorrow. So it's, uh, it's 7 o'clock here now, 7, 7.30. That means I can get out of here before 6 a.m. That means I'll be done my day tomorrow, probably around six or seven as well. Turn left in six hundred ten meters. Well, guarantee me a good parking spot. I'm gonna shut her down, pull the curtains, and go to bed. Because I, I checked on uh, Trucker Path, the app, and all the truck stops from here to where I would run out of hours are already reporting full. In 400 meters, take US 68 Paducah and then turn left in 610 meters. So I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to park here. This one is reporting lots of spots still. Guess we'll find out. In 500 meters, turn left on US 68. Entrance. This better not be one of those pay to parks. 
pretty full already. I'm kind of glad we're stopping earlier in today. Meters, make a U-turn if possible, and then approaching destination on the right side in 120 meters. What are you talking about? It's right here, Karen. You blind? Already going into the drive. What do you mean U-turn? What are you going to go down the road over there, make a U-turn, come back when they have a perfectly good driveway right here? Get out of here. Okay, now best way into this parking lot. I feel like I've been here before. Really think I have. Enter. Ah, oh, there we go. Entrance. Look at this guy's load. Woo! Fancy. Very fancy. I feel like I have been here before though. It's just, this looks very familiar. I probably have been. I've been everywhere. Yeah, yeah, I remember this. I parked here with a flatbed. It was an empty flatbed. I was on my way back. No, 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 no. I had steel on, didn't I? Out of Jackson, Tennessee, going back to Canada. Yeah, and I was parked right over here along the side by that building. beside this guy but that would block the shop I don't want to get woken up be told to move oh I think there's space over here yet come on show me the spaces all right I think this is uh I don't know what's a parking spot and what isn't is this a driveway or is this a parking spot Know what I mean? I can't tell, there's no lines. Guess we'll do a lap around the property and see what happens. 